Hey, this is Scott, Sumitomo Drive Technologies. We're going to talk about our lubrication failures and some ways to prevent them. So lubrication is the is like the blood in your body. It's one of the most important things in gearbox operation. It is absolutely vital to uh, all rotating elements. Um, oil and grease are your two main lubrications you'll see in, uh, in gearboxes. The main failure we see with lubrication failures is poor maintenance. Uh, that means you're not changing the oil um, or we've mixed oils and greases and perhaps uh, the, uh, the oil has, uh, has been contaminated. The most common problem is uh, the, the, the oil is spent uh, or the grease no longer a grease anymore. It is separated and uh, it, it's, it's no longer doing what it's, what it's designed to do. You gotta keep the oil changed. You gotta make sure the oil is the correct oil. Uh, same thing goes with the grease. Make sure to follow the O&M manual. Like I said, when we open these things up and we see that the oil is spent, the gears are either broken or there's a lot of uh, acidic base buildup, in other words, carbon based buildups, all throughout the gearbox, we know that the gearbox has not been maintained properly over the year. Or in some cases, the oil was never changed or the grease was never replenished. There's definitely ways to prevent that. Making sure, like I said, make sure you got the right oil in there. Uh, making sure that your temperatures are good. These are simple checks that you can do during startup. Simple temperature checks, um, which we show in the video. We have a gearbox on a test hand we show in the video with a, uh, with a FLIR gun, uh, which is a uh, um, thermal imagery gun. And then we just have a little infrared gun. These are, temperatures are vital during startup. So first thing in startup is making sure that the gearbox actually has oil in it. Dust, that's not an acceptable lubricant. That's the number one thing. First of all, don't start it dry. Uh, well, the second thing is make sure that everything is at the right level. Uh, and then the after operation, the quickest way is, is to check, is to make sure you have flow and then to start checking temperatures. Uh, lubrication guys will tell you that running up to 200 degrees is okay, but you're going to be changing your oil like, like all the time, and that's expensive. Well, temperature kills. Everybody talks about speed kills. Well, in gearboxes, temperature kills. And temperature is, is the, typically the first indicator that something is going wrong. The temperature climbs up pretty fast, and then it doesn't stabilize, which is bad. Yeah. Like somebody didn't change their oil. It, it doesn't take any time to check it. Uh, that's what's important uh, throughout this event is things happen. We just want to try to eliminate as much damage as we can by catching it as quick as, as, quick as possible. So the, the most important thing obviously here is with gearboxes is lubrication. It's the easiest thing to check. Um, you got to make sure before you start the gearbox or if you have something running that you have something going on to keep an eye on the lubrication. After a long period of operation, oil analysis is the best way to, um, to start something if you haven't already. Really, we focused on gearbox startup, newer gearboxes. So if you have something already in operation, you know, two, three, five, 10, 20 years, start with a good sampling program. And that way you guys that are already in operation, if you're thinking about something that you need to do today, uh, that's a good place, that's a, that's a great place to start. Uh, and then go back and review your ambient operating temperatures and review the O&M manual and make sure that the oil that you have in there is what we recommend, that's, that's really important. Dust, that's not an acceptable lubricant. Don't do that. If you have any questions on what kind of oil for your operating in, in environment, you know, give us a call, shoot us an email, uh, service at suminet.com. Check out our other videos. And follow us on social media. Thanks. Thanks.